All right, everybody, welcome back to Sabi Docs Fishing Jamboree. I'm so happy to still be your host, CJ. It's all good. We actually made it exactly three hours. Their battery bank and camera lasted three hours, basically exactly. Um, so that's pretty crazy. So thank you so much to Hotto and Grace and Dale for that. That was a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Um, ye, me of little faith, as it turned out. Yes, the Sonic run had to be rescheduled because, as it turned out, uh, the runner lost internet, phone, basically every utility that you can think of at the final moment. And so CC will be doing the run. If you want to see Big Story, you can tune in tonight. Um, I... It, it is up to CC in what order he does them. I think it makes sense to do the Sonic one first, but it whatever. I think it makes more thematic sense to end on Ocarina of Time, but the schedule just kind of has it in one big CC block at the moment. So uh, thank you to everybody for all of your support and donations, etc., etc. It's been a lot of fun so far. We have some incentives I want to go over. There's some stuff on the schedule that I'd like to go over. So let's do the incentives first. Because it's freshest in my mind. So you guys have been killing it. The Tetris Effect Disco Light Percent unlocked. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, upgrade to 56 tracks with the fishing rod unlocked. Freddy Fish 2, I come from a land down 100% unlocked. Just perfect, right? Just chef's kiss perfect um hotline miami hotline bling we got the play bonus levels incentive met that is great we are at 61 dollars out of 145 for the catch the hylian loach so we are all going to be very excited to see that and then we have 35 out of 75 dollars for the bonus base level so you're going to want to get that your donations in for that. That is $40 away in the Hylian Loach is no one can do that math in their head. It's $84 away. Now let's check in on those polls right now. We have the Sims 4 soon gender. That's 35 out of uh, $35 for females in the lead. Male is 16. We have name Sim uh, $70 right now going to Crunchy Brown with $51. Second place is My Name Jeff. And then third place is Gaffy Taffy. Uh, basically, anybody's race, any of these can come back and win it. And then Pokemon Snap file name, Bussy, is in the lead with $219. Uh, Spicy is in second place with $10. And Jeff is in third place with $5. So if you want to get your donations in for any of those incentives... Please do so now. Get those donations in, people. We're already halfway through. We're three hours into the event. We're halfway through. Our goal for the whole weekend was $1,000. So we are doing really well, I would say. Coming up next, we have Legend of the River King Any% Percent by Quentin 5L. Going to want to get that one done. You're going to want to get your snacks Get your drinks, get cozy. I think that's going to be a really fun run. It's really on brand with what we're doing here today. I think you're going to enjoy some more fishing action. And then after that, we have Tetris Effect uh, by Dark Eries, where we're going to have the disco. We're going to have some disco going on. Disco lights. Boogie, boogie wonderland. That's the kind of day it's going to be. And then we're going to have... Uh, after that, Mario Kart 56 tracks. Sorry, I lied to you all just now. I apologize. We're going to have Ryan Ford doing uh, Link's Awakening DX Fish the Pond. It's a three-minute speeder, and you can see just how fast you can fish the pond in that game. And then you're going to do Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 56 tracks. If we hit it, fishing rod. Oh, no, we did hit it. Fishing rod percent. And so you can't see it. You can only hear me when I do this. You can't even hear it. It's noiseless, people. I have a fishing rod controller for the Switch right here in front of me. You're going to want to get those donations in. 
going to want to get cozy. You got a nice, chill afternoon of runs ahead of you. Some other things I might uh, want to remind you of. Don't forget, we have a new shirt in the store. It is speeddocs.tv. It is the Speeddocs bait and tackle shirt. I just got mine. It's really cool. Uh, probably my favorite thing I've ever designed for shirts. And it looks pretty cool. So you're going to want to get that in. You're going you to want to go check that out. We also have all the old designs from all the old events. You're going to want to go take a look at that. Um, we also have a brand new video, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. That is out now. You can go watch that now. Don't leave now and watch it. You can watch it later. Add it to your watch later list. It's a great video. Um, the final video in the Donkey Kong Country trilogy. We're going to miss those guys. You know, it was a lot of fun working on them, those videos. But, you know, all things must pass. And, uh, you know, pretty, pretty cool. You know, it's a pretty cool thing we got going on. So, you know, it's funny. They don't show dislikes anymore, but they tell you the percentage of likes versus dislikes you have. Oh, they do tell you dislikes. They just don't show it publicly. Our most disliked video is the um, April Fool's Day one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, people don't like April Fool's Day as much as they tell you they do. I agree. I think Quo should send Spicy a Speed Docs fishing shirt. All right, folks, my time with Speed Docs Fishing Jamboree for hosting is coming to an end. Uh, I need to go take a break, stretch my legs, eat, sleep, maybe. I got to rest my throat for sure. But don't worry, if you're like, oh, no, I, I I just can't be without CJ, the feeling is mutual. Don't worry. But I will be back tonight between the hours of 6 and 6.30 for a two and a half hour run. That run is going to have me with my co-commentator, Quo, my host, Crunchy Brown, and CC Neverender on Restream. So if you're looking for the crew, that is the crew. That is going to be a very fun run. That is going to be 6.30 tonight. You're going to want to come back for that. Um, I 
All right, and so I leave you in the very capable hands of FC. How are you doing, bud? Maybe. Maybe I leave you in the very capable hands of FC. I am become water, my friend. There you are. <laughs> All yes. right, Ming. I um, hope you're doing I'm well. Still, Good I luck on your show. Am. It'll be great. Love to have you. Thanks for kicking this off and already getting us past the 500. Amazing. Yeah, shoe. It's it's always wonderful to see you. I already have word that our guys are hard at work to present to you Legend of the River King. It's going to be great. is a bird. A kingfisher, actually. He eats fish like this, in a river like this. This river flows out to this estuary. This estuary feeds into this ocean. The water from this ocean evaporates into these clouds. These clouds turn into this rain. This rain falls over this forest. This forest grows this fruit. This fruit is harvested by these farmers. These farmers send it around the world to be eaten by these people. These people wash it down with water from this tap. This tap follows a series of pipes that lead to this river. This river is home to these insects. These insects are dinner for this fish. This fish is dinner for this bird. This is a bird, a kingfisher actually. And that is how we deal with anything here, uh, quick and competent. All right, we are back at it. Legend of the River King, any percent. This could go any way. I've been told we've got some RNG, so keep your less RNGs as ready in chat. And with with that, off to run in a week, Quentin 5L and Rotus. Alright, um, first off, thanks for having me. Uh, this is going to be uh, Legend of the River King, any percent, uh, for the Game Boy Color. Um, let's just get into it. 
Okay, so the basic story of uh, most of the River King games is we have a sick family member and uh, we need to catch a special fish that will cure uh, the uh, family member in question. So in this one, our sister is sick and we need to catch the guardian. And the guardian lives in a special area, so we need to be able to make our way to the area. So we need a raft to be able to get into the water and be able to swim and float around. So uh, to get the raft, we need to catch a rainbow trout for the raft master. So in this particular area, as you can see, uh, depending on uh, the fish, they will all swim in various different directions and stuff. So the first part of RNG is to get the fish in line with uh, your uh, bobber. So sometimes they'll bite instantly and other times you can spend three or four minutes trying to hook a fish. So in this uh, particular game, we're running the Game Boy Color version. There are 44 unique fish that you can catch in the five zones, I believe, in this game, and four of them are not available until you get to the new game plus mode. So once you catch the guardian in the lake, it unlocks the final four fish, and this is exclusive to the Game Boy Color version. So this version of the game is the fourth in the River King uh, Nushi series series. So the first one came out on the NES, uh, and then the second one came out on the PC Engine, but it was not numbered. Uh, and then the third one uh, came out on the Game Boy, and then uh, Quentin and War Slash Run in the Week will be running uh, the second one tomorrow for you that came out on the Super Nintendo. Now in this game, you catch a fish once you get it to the top of the screen, uh, in this particular version. This game was remastered on the Game Boy Advance, and in that one, you have to get it all the way to the right side of the screen and all the way to the top side. So the mechanics are a little bit different. So now that we got our rainbow trout, we are going to talk to the river master, or the raft master, I'm not exactly sure what he's called, uh, but he wants lunch. Uh, for the most part, so we have to get him his lunch. So before we do that, we're going to come in here, we're going to buy a small hook, we're going to buy uh, an orange, and then three rice balls, and then we're going to buy the, what, whetstone fly? Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, whetstone fly, I believe. Okay, and uh, uh, this will allow us to pretty much catch all the fish uh, until we get to the end of the game. So Run in the Week right now is heading over to look for a cutthroat trout, I believe it is. And for that, we need a small hook. So once you hook a fish uh, in this game and you start to battle it, uh, you cannot reel in the fish until it comes to a complete stop. If uh, you try to reel it in, uh, before that, uh, you have a chance of breaking the line or losing the hook. So on uh, certain times, uh, you can try to force the fish to stop earlier. Uh, in the Game Boy Color version, uh, if you do the tension too much at the beginning, you have a greater chance of breaking your fly or your hook than you would uh, in the Game Boy version. So it's, uh, uh, it's a trade-off, and do you want to try to save a little time, or at, with the risk of breaking your hook, or do you play it safe? So the reason that we're fishing over on the left side of the screen is because most of the fish on this side of the screen are all cutthroats. Uh, if you try to fish up uh, to the northern right side of the screen. There are cutthroats there, but there's also bullheads mixed in. So uh, we're trying to play 
into the fish spawns by fishing into a certain area. And uh, this particular fish that he got is the cutthroat. It is the one that we are looking for. Uh, so we are able to move on. One thing in this game is as you move around, you can get random encounters. So uh, it's a fishy game that uh, you have to fight off wildlife or uh, pets as you go through the game. And any encounter that you get in can kill you. And if you die, you go back uh, to whatever town that you're in has an end. So you'll go back to that zone's end. But they can also steal your fish. So right before you turn it in, uh, you can get an encounter, you can steal your fish before you can run away. So that's one thing that we also have to look out for. Uh, there are three versions of this game out. The Japanese one, which is the same as the Game Boy one. Uh, the Game Boy Color, which is uh, has improved uh, catch rates and gameplay in general. And then they have the uh, remaster on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, so, uh, Run in the Week just gave uh, the Wrath Master's daughter the cutthroat fish, and then uh, she uh, gave him the lunch in return. So, when we return to the Wrath Master, he's going to give us the raft that is going to allow us to go into the water. As you swim, you lose HP. So, you need to manage your HP uh, at all times to make sure that you have enough to. Uh, survive on uh, because your the damage you do in this game when you fight actual enemies is dependent on your HP so the more HP you have the more damage that you do and uh, that is especially important coming up because as I heard a few people before uh, in the last stream in Real Life Fishing they were talking about grizzly bears and various other stuff like that. We're actually going to go fight a grizzly bear uh, right now. So uh, as we came into this zone, uh, we crashed our uh, raft on a rock and it broke it. And the raft master's apprentice is down here and he was completely appalled that our raft broke. So he is going to fix it up for us. And uh, as we were waiting for our raft to get fixed, we initiated a trade quest where we get, had got a memento from our mom that someone else wanted, and she gave us a teacup for it. And then this lady was distressed uh, that there were bears around that she couldn't do what she wanted. So us being the nice guys that we are, we're going to go fight the bear. So uh, we just died because it's a random chance of the bear attacking us as soon as uh, the fight starts, so he gets a surprise attack. We do not heal beforehand because if we die, uh, we could, we would use, a, we would lose a healing item. So we're gonna go back, see if the bear gets another attack, and uh, if he doesn't, we can heal in the middle of battle. See if the bear attacked us again. We're saving healing items, and this is where RNG comes into play. So, uh, when we start uh, fighting the bear, if the bear gives us a chance, the bear could not, I, 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 we lost a lot of runs here, <laughs> uh, but you'll see a little fist uh, bopping around across the screen. That fist has to be over the bear to deal any damage. Uh, and if we hit the bear in the head, we will do a critical, uh, and we'll do uh, double damage. So we need at least one head punch to uh, get the bear low enough that he won't hit us for a lot of damage. So we hit him, oh, his mind was blank. So the enemies can choose to ignore you, or they can choose to uh, attack you, or uh, stare off in the like, outer space. But this bear has 50. 6 HP, I believe. So we beat the bear. Uh, we saved the day. So we're going to go up there. We're going to tell the lady we killed the bear. She's going to give us a rod that we'll never use. We actually use it to catch the guardian. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I don't use the rod myself. Uh, Wait, can you catch yes. it with a fly? I, you can hook him with a fly. I, uh... Yeah, no, that, my fault. No, yeah, that was, that's on me. I, I believe, yeah, we used a casting rod. Uh, you can hook him with the fly, though, but I'm not sure if you can catch him with a fly. Alright. Strats being made. Let me just hop in here real quick. Rodus, we got to thank you for $150. Thank you. So, you were wishing everybody... Uh, uh, nope, got this wrong. Missed the line. Uh, let's go run in a week. So, yeah, that's a very... Uh, uh, yeah, we're really thankful for that. And uh, keep on. I'm enjoying this. This is, this is a blast. <laughs> thank you again. <laughs> Alright, so right now we are catching a three spine stickleback. Uh, we need this fish in particular uh, to get a pickaxe that will allow us to uh, mine our way into a secret area. Now, if anyone is out here, likes this game, and is interested in this uh, speedrun or the series as a whole, if you go to speedrun.com, you look up one of the Nushisori uh, River King series, any one of those games has a link to the Discord. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are 16 games in this series. I believe we have 12 to 13 of them routed. And this monkey is the bane of my existence. I, I, I hate him with every fiber of my being. Agreed. <laughs> Uh, in the uh, Game Boy Color version, I run the Game Boy version, or I used to run it. Time on, uh, I moved on to uh, other games uh, as of right now. But uh, the escape rates were buffed in the Game Boy Color version, and uh, I have never ran away from that monkey in uh, the Game Boy version. And if I run into him, it's instant death. So, I have lost many, many attempts to this. But yeah, there's uh, many different games in the series. Some are more fun than others. Uh, run here, run in a week here, picked this series up about two months ago, and came in and demolished this game. <laughs> yeah, kind of. And uh, he uh, uh, picked up... Uh, two of the other runs, completely routed them out, changed everything about the game that we originally knew, and I think he holds nine world records? Oh, um, I actually don't know. So there's this game's any percent, then any percent for all four characters of the SNES one, then seven runs on the uh, N64 one, so that's like, what, 11? Uh, it's just like, uh, everyone came in here and put everyone uh, in their place. So yeah, it's been a fun and exciting uh, few months for our little community. But uh, right now, uh, we took the pickaxe and uh, that we got from the stickleback and we mined, which opened up uh, the secret uh, area. I believe this is stream. Yeah, I, I don't know the names of the areas. Uh, and uh, saving that guy, he gave us uh, the fly rod that we are going to use to uh, pretty much fish up all the fish until we get to the Guardian. Right here is the biggest RNG uh, brick wall to get over in this game. Uh, we're, we're going to trade this guy the teacup uh, that uh, he wanted to drink some tea and didn't have a teacup, so he's going to give us the teacup, uh, or we're going to give him the teacup and he's going to give us a piece of coal. Right now, we have to try to fish up a pale chup for a girl uh, over here, and she wants it to be 18 centimeters or bigger. And uh, you can get him one and done, or you can spend an hour here and not get him. It's it's insane uh, the, how much RNG is in this section. Yeah. And I, I actually, uh, during practice, one of my runs, I literally spent like 40 minutes trying to get this guy. 
Yep, and I had one run that was just as bad. When I was learning the game, I, I was in oh, 90 wow. minutes in. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, anything over 18 centimeters is a record, and I've never seen a 19. Uh, I would, it, personally, I would turn it in. You could get a eagle here that can steal your fish. Hmm. Good suggestion. So, uh, yeah, I, I would. Uh, I, I've had it happen before because I, I, I was always a smart act. Cause I'll just hold on to it, and I was going up to the wizard, and then I had my chub stolen. So right now we uh, we got what we need. Uh, to get over into the next area, uh, minus uh, the wizard. The wizard up here is asleep, but you we hear a mumbling about IUs. So we're gonna catch an IU or two here to earn up some money uh, or uh, to give him. And once we do that, he'll tell us that we need to go downstream into Lake Two. And uh, once we get that bit of information, we'll talk to the girl that we just gave the peach up to, and she'll have her dad open up the dam for us. Now, a little bit of tech behind uh, this particular uh, area. Uh, when you move in the water, you go a pixel at a time. And unless you are perfectly center, in the square that you're on you can make you can do odd things with the game so like you can like jump into a tree you can walk past a, uh, an area that you're not supposed to which we'll get to later in the game but if anyone is interested in uh glitch hunting this there's a dam that we need to catch the pea chub and we need to uh give the wizard uh the iu for this if we can figure out how to use these pixels to be able to step through the dam uh we'll be able to cut out several minutes of the game so if anyone wants a challenge this is one of the big hurdles uh that we were looking into before we started routing some of the other games in the series or even just like something to manipulate the size of the fish. That would definitely help a lot. Very true. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how RNG works in this game. I'm not sure if it's from Power On. I know it's not from File Start because I've taken the same path and I've gotten spider encounters and stuff like that uh, at different uh, movements. So I'm assuming uh, it's from power on. I have nothing to do, but I, I guess the wizard takes a random fish. I was going to say, that, that's a big fish. Later in the game, we have to come back here and we have to fish up three IUs of 26 centimeters or greater. And uh, we got another record breaking fish. Do you think I should go back for another one or not? He picks a random one. Uh, I would I would fish up one more to get the 60 gold so you can buy healing items uh, because I think you're pretty low. Mm. Uh, I think I actually have one more left. So, I mean... Okay. Yeah, I'll just death warp, then reset the area to be able to get a better spread on the IU and sell one of them. Okay. Yeah, the route has changed up uh, a little bit since I played it. Uh, run, uh, I am six, seven minutes behind uh, run's time on the Game Boy Color version. So, and uh, he, he, one of the biggest skips that was found in the game, the X skip, because in the next area we used to have to fish up a slender and a willow gudon, hopefully I said that right, uh, to be able to get an axe to chop down a tree that would allow us to get into the final area, and Yoffer found a way that we could 
get into the final area without needing the axe. And then run in the week here, found a new, faster setup that if you come up from the north side of the screen that uh, we could use to get into a different part of the area. So even though uh, Run in the Week hasn't been running the game uh, as long as some of the others, he's already contributed uh, greatly in uh, a few new strats and uh, ways that you can go about fishing. So this right here is a D-chub. And uh, uh, unlike the, the same fish that was to the south, uh, the P-chub. So it's the only fish in this area that is mixed in with these IUs. So this, uh, this person next to us, uh, she is a huge fan of IUs. And she pays us 60 bucks per IU, no matter what the size is. So uh, this is a great spot that we have to, uh, to grind money for uh, later in the game. Because we still gotta buy a large hook, uh, we gotta buy worms, and then I'm not sure if Ron is gonna pick up some dough balls or not to give him an extra nine chances at the Guardian. But uh, we'll need at least probably 120 to 150 gold for uh, various items and stuff to get us through the rest of the game. Which we will probably try to farm up when we're trying to get the three IUs of 26 or greater. So this is the dam that I was talking about. Uh, you can use the river's currents and stuff. I have gotten into the center of the dam uh, using some of the glitches, but I haven't been able to get out of it. So right now, uh, we're going to pop in, go two spaces over, and then we're just going to float down. So in this game, nice. if you swim with the current, uh, and you press the direction of the current twice in quick succession, you can get the water glitch, which uh, Run in a Week just got, which allows you to swim the entire way, and it costs no HP to do so. Alright, so now we're going to go to a little tea house on uh to the south here and we're gonna talk to the la uh, lady in there and this is gonna start another quest line that is gonna get us the wind chime that will allow us to catch the guardian uh, and she's complaining that her husband isn't back uh, because he is up in the stream the area we just came from and he is fishing uh some items so we're going to go up there and help him after we buy a few items. And uh, I have very little experience in the Game Boy Color version, but Lake 2 is a notorious death trap mm -hmm. for uh, runs. Uh, it's a huge zone that has very powerful enemies in it. And as you go from zone to zone, uh, the enemies get stronger and stronger. So we didn't level up at all. So we uh, are not fit to fight the enemies here. So any encounter, unless we can run away from it, means instant death. Yeah, uh, Yoffer here uh, was one of the main people that routed this game uh, at the start with uh, Shadow Kaze. So, uh, Yoffer is the one that turned me onto this game, and then me and him battled uh, for to get a good time before Axe Skip was found, and then I was completely left in the dust. So now we're going to Death Warp back up, and we're going to float back down to the IU area, and if everything goes perfectly, we could be done with in five fish. I'm not sure if Run is gonna fish up a third fish just to have some extra money. But I guess we'll have to see how RNG it is because I have spent 24 IU uh, in the Japanese version of this game to get the three that I needed of a proper size to continue on. So uh, we may not have a say in how little fish we can catch. 
At least if we go over, we'll have plenty of money for the rest of the game. Yep, uh, we've done that too, because uh, I know in the remake version, in this game, uh, when you catch a fish and you go to sell it, you have to sell your entire pail. But if you sell it to a person, they'll take the first one out of your pail. So uh, once we catch a fish, we're going to check the pail, and if it's in the improper size, if it's the top one, we're going to sell it instantly so we can keep the... Uh, the the bigger fish for the quest in the Game Boy Advanced remake. Uh, fish ordering is complete. I don't think it's completely random, but I don't think they. I think they put your biggest fish on top, and they put the smaller fish on the bottom. So in that one, if you don't get lucky, you have to buy an extra pail so you can hold more fish. Because right now we have the smallest pail, and we can hold four fish. So we have to be extremely cautious with how we order and sell the fish. Because I, I you can, you can accidentally sell uh, a big fish and keep some of the smaller ones. And this is where we pray to the RNG gods, because this is the last moment in the last point in the game where we care about the size of the fish. So in uh, this particular area on the right side where we're fishing at, there should be no D-chubs. The D-chubs uh, share a spawn with the IUs up to the north, so it's uh, better to fish uh, on this side uh, than it is up. But depending on how lucky run is, there should only be two D-chubs in this area mixed in with all the other IUs. If we fish up the entire area, and we do not get this fish that we need. There's an item in the store that you can buy for 30 gold called a chumming. And the chumming is used to respawn the fish in this game. We will either do a death warp, go back to the end, zone out, and rezone back in. And that'll respawn all the fish as well. So. It just depends on the person if the if you want to buy an extra chumming or if you want to uh, respawn it and uh, continue on. So, so that one was a twenty-four uh, centimeter fish, so it's not the size that we are looking for. But uh, like I said, we uh, we're looking for some money anyways, so. Uh, Technically, we always have to fish up at least five fish in this area. We just always hope that the first three are the big ones, so then you can come back and just fish up whatever fish that you want and not have to worry about it. Now, uh, we are playing uh, Legend of the River King, which is like Kawa no Nushi Suri. There is also a spin-off to this game, uh, which uh, Friendship uh, just reminded me about, and it's Kawa no Umi Suri, which uh, is Legend of the Sea King. It's actually Umi no Nushi Tsuri. Umi... Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Umi means sea and uh, Kawa means river, so... Yep, got myself a little tongue tied there. But yes, there is uh, uh, the the Sea King series does have sharks and uh, like swordfish and various other things in it. So in Legend of the River King two uh, on the Game Boy, you have to catch the River King and you have to catch the Sea King. So to beat the game, you have to catch both. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, it, it's a you have to. It's um, I'm not exactly sure why we do it. The yeah, author, you're in here. Uh, I don't remember the story for that one. Do you remember why we had to catch the Sea King 
after we catch the River King. Uh, and this is where the RNG in this game comes into uh, in, into play heavily. And this is why the run could take 20 minutes or it could take two hours. It, it's all up to uh, things that are outside of your control. Okay, so we had, we needed both fish. Uh, so in the second uh, River King game, uh, we both had to catch the, uh, a fish, and we caught our fish, and when we caught ours, the brother hurt himself, so we had to go do the brother's quest as well. And in the second game, there is a kid percent and a teen percent, I believe. So there are two different... Uh, routes that you could do to get through the game. This game is very relaxing to play casually. It is a nightmare <laughs> to do it on the speedrun, especially the NES one and the PC Engine slash TurboGrafx-16. Uh, the final fish in that game are a nightmare, and it, you, I, I, you have to be lucky <laughs> to get through it. Which I, I'm really looking forward to the moment, or uh, the day, that Run in the Week decides to try to tackle the NES version. Because, uh, e even doing the password and running to the end of the game and trying to catch the fish, I'm like 0 for 15 on actually completing the run. Mm -hmm. And one run in that game that I completed, uh, I, I was shocked. It was the only time I beat the game without save stakes, and I ended up doing it on a practice run. Yeah, I can't wait to look into like other one, the other games in the series. Like, I have all of the Umi no Nushitsuri games, so I definitely want to start routing those sometime soon. Yeah, I I, was, I think we have thir thirteen. 14, we, we have 12. We have 12 out of the 16 games routed. We don't have We No Nushi Suri 1 or 2. There is one, uh, there's an Umi, uh, there's a Seeking game on the PlayStation 1 mm -hmm. that we haven't touched yet. And what is the other one? Uh, there's a Umi game on the Super Nintendo? Yeah, Super Nintendo, yeah. Game Boy, and PS1. Whoops. Yeah, so those are the, the four that we don't have. Uh, in my opinion, the best games in this series are the Nintendo 64 ones, hands down. Yeah, definitely. There's, like, uh, even from a speedrunning standpoint, there's like no RNG in them, so like, they're just such a good run to like, be able to actually grind out, um, instead of just having a smash your head against a, an RNG wall for like two hours or whatever. Um, and some of the runs on the N64 one are pretty short. Like the shortest one is um, like a 355 right now. Um, and like the longest one is like a, what, a 35 minute run I think I got for that one. So like, yeah. Um, and that 35 minute run definitely could be brought down to like at least a 25. So, pretty short uh, runs if you want to look into the uh, N64 one. <laughs> and now that we gave uh, the guy all three fish, uh, he is going to make his way back home to his wife. And now once we go tell the wife, the son is going to be out missing. So when we zone into this next area, uh, we're going to catch a carp. And uh, the sun is out looking for the carp. And once we catch this carp, we will have everything we need to do to get to the end of the game. So we are now officially in the end game sequence, in my opinion, because once the IEs are done, I consider everything else to be the end game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the, one of the easiest games in the series 
is the Game Boy Advance one. You do not have to worry about any random encounters or anything in that game. Uh, New Shisuri 5, and it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful game. Uh, it, it really uh, showing off what the Game Boy Advance could do. Hmm. But in that particular game, you you have to catch fish in a certain order, and if you don't get the order correct, you can literally fish out an entire area, have to go reset it, and then fish out the entire area again. So you can catch all the fish that you need, but if you do them out of order, the people will revert back to their human forms, and uh, it's a big pain. So you can literally lose hours uh, trying to get the fish in the right order. And there's only two sections in the game that, that really plays a difference at, uh, but it's the only downside to that game. I actually never looked at his hat, so I'm not sure if he's wearing a, a fish hat or not. It's like Very a nice. baseball cap. Alright, and this is the carp that we are looking for. So yeah, with this, uh, we have to make one trip and pray that our fish doesn't get stolen. We have actually had great RNG with encounters and various other stuff like that. So uh, compared to what I've seen some of the runs and what happened in there, that this is been a pretty good run so far. So I'm extremely happy with how things are playing out right now. Yeah, definitely. Like we've only had one extra encounter or something like that, that monkey in the second area. Yeah, and you got away first try. Yeah insane anime RNG in this run. Hopefully I didn't jinx it, jinx it there. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, so the fishing in this game, uh, once you hook the fish, the fish will swim to the left and you have to wait for the fish to stop moving completely before you reel it in. And if you try to reel it in any quicker, uh, the fish will fight back and then he'll take off and swim even longer. So uh, pretty much uh, in this game, uh, in this version of the game, uh, the remaster, the remake, remaster uh, is a little different, but you have to get the fish to the top of the screen. And as soon as you get them to the top of the screen, you'll just reel them in. Uh, Nostro uh, posted the series page for this, which I believe we have 10 out of the 16 games on speedrun.com. The, the, this series started in 1990, and the last entry came out in 2008, which was on the 3DS? No, just the DS uh, in general. Uh, so this game has not had a game released in 14 years, so the series I'm pretty sure is pretty much dead. This is made by the same people that did Harvest Moon. So if you enjoyed Harvest Moon and the feel of that game, then this game will pretty much be right up your alley as well. 11. Cool, cool. No, because I, I, I never submitted, uh, I never did a live performance of the second 64 uh, game, so I, I never got around to getting that board created. So yeah, then the four that we have is the only ones that we haven't routed yet, which uh, in English we only got four games officially released. So we got Legend of the River King 1 and 2. We got River King A Wonderful Journey on the PlayStation 2. And we got Mystic Valley, which is the DS game. Uh, we have a, there's a ROM floating around uh, of the Eng unreleased English game of uh, Legend of the Sea King. For some reason, Nintendo took the time to translate it, uh, made an official release of it, but they never put it out for sale. 
I don't know why, but uh, Nintendo does what Nintendo does. So yeah, uh, as we're coming to the end of the run, if any of you uh, are interested in any of the games in this series, uh, follow uh, the go to the game uh, board and uh, join the Discord. Uh, everyone in there is quite friendly. Uh, yeah, I, I really can't. It's a small community, uh, but I, I tend to like small communities better. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I've been in this for almost a year now, and I know Run just joined up recently, so I'm not sure uh, if Run is of the same opinion of me, but uh, yeah, come, come join us, come have fun. Yeah, it's a super welcoming community. Like, as soon as I uh, joined the server, everybody was, like, um, introducing themselves and, like, stopping by my streams and stuff. It's a very nice community. And then maybe you can join right out one of the last few games. And then, uh, yeah, maybe for the next Fishing Jamboree, we can get all 16 games in here. And as you just saw uh, Run in the Week do, he went up into the water. And since uh, we were off, uh, we got back on land on an off pixel, our collision was off. And that allowed us to walk through the tree, which is why we don't need to pick up the axe to uh, chop it down. So at least for my particular run, when I did it, this saved me nine minutes uh, because I, I had my uh, willow gudon stolen as I was getting to the fish. So this one, sa this uh, skip saved me a lot of time in general. So uh, to catch the guardian, we need to use the casting rod. We need to use a large hook and a worm or an insta or dough ball. I think it's a dough ball in this game. Uh, any one of these fish here can be the, uh, the guardian. Uh, the guardian and the crucian carps look nearly identical. In this, I don't play the Game Boy Color one. I believe the guardian is a yellowish color, yellowish goldish color. Uh, I usually tell the fish apart by their dorsal fin. On a crucian carp, at the top fin, you will see three to four pixels of black in between the dorsal fin and the actual fish itself. On the guardian, that goes down to one to zero pixels. And we have the stupid little bitlings that are all over the place. So uh, it just depends. Uh, not everything is up to uh, the RNG gods. Uh, we There is no specific way that we can tell where the fish, where the guardian is going to spawn. He replaces one of the fish that is already there. So like we save stated it, looked at the fish before and after the save state. Uh, and it was, uh, little new fish got added in, and uh, when we caught the Guardian the first time, and we loaded up the save state again, and we went there and caught him again, he was a carp. So, we have no way of knowing which fish uh, he is going to be. And the dangerous game that uh, is going on right now is he can be in the mossy area, and in the mossy area are where the bitlings like to hang out at, so uh, it's not an area that people like to fish at because you can literally get like five bitlings in a row before you start trying to look for a carp or whatnot. So uh, we didn't pick up the dough balls. So we, we have nine chances to get uh, the guardian here. And I think Ron himself, one of his first times doing it, I think he spent like 25 to 30 minutes here before he called him one time. Yeah. Something like that. So, and then his uh, world record run, he came in uh, and the, he had like a few, like he had like a minute or so to catch the fish and get the, uh, get the world record. And I was like, oh, he's not going to do it. He nailed it. One and done. Yeah. He, the first time I just like, I like flipped out. I think I knocked my chair over because I like, I popped off my seat. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's like very exciting times. Uh, w uh, I know a lot of these uh, people like personally, so it's like extra competitive. So yeah, if you look up at the top dorsal fin, uh, you see that nice thick black line. So that means it's a carp. Uh, I don't like I said I don't play the Game Boy Color ver version, so everything is black and white for me. So. Uh, yeah, I go based off of the thin. But yeah, I, uh, everyone is like, we form like little rivalries and various other stuff like that. So we, we try to push each other to uh, get better times. I mean, Every time I watch you play run, it makes me want to bust out my fishy game again. <laughs> well, they're a load of fun, so can't blame you. They are. And, uh, because, uh, yeah, uh, run here, encourage Kyle to come back to it. Kyle's my real life friend. Uh -huh. There it is. Here's a guardian. It's GG. Uh, and uh, I'm going to come back and run the Game Boy Color version uh, once Kyle beats my time. And uh, just so you know, time is coming up as soon as I land this fish. So... Don't go off the screen, bro. You can actually lose the fish if it goes either too high up or uh, too low. So I, I have had uh, runs lost to this guy just going off the screen, and that's time. Uh, GG. Pretty good hey, run. It looks like it's about 47 minutes. Yeah, 47 even is what I got. So. Okay, so. Uh, do you do you want to switch a game for a little bit, or you want to do some casual fishing? I'm not exactly sure, I've, or because uh, we don't want to get too far ahead. So uh, right, I'll let that. If allowed, uh, I do have a couple runs that are like 20-ish minutes on the uh, N64 version of the game. If you if you want to permit me to run one of those real quick. Let me just hop right in and say GG, wonderful showing, and we got a $40 donation from Anonymous saying FISH! <laughs> so, everybody get get in that Discord, seems to be an amazing community, I know I will check that out, I love me some stupid puns. Also, I'll just drop uh, your Twitch stream link, I hope I got the right one. Check out Run and Week's other content. Generally, I'm not just like running yeah. uh, fish games. Generally, on my channel, I just pick up a game for a week and see what time I can get for the speed run of it. Um, I do like a whole lot of random games, so. And uh, No Show just posted the uh, link. Uh, Discord link in the chat for anyone that's interested. Nostro is a super mod of the entire series, uh, along with uh, Demo and uh, Desert. So, uh, very cool guy, and uh, I love what he did with the series. All right, sure, we just hop right out uh, into intermission, get you set up for more beautiful fishing. All right. Wonderful. See you in a second, everybody. The Guardian. Wonderful. I, I love this on screen. It's so nice. It, it's got something like uh, the Ukiyo-e uh, woodblock printing from Japan style. Yeah. Well then, Angler S Dogs. We'll see you right after intermission, everybody. Stick around. We got some wonderful new incentives to shill if you want to put more money towards a good cause and some fun fish.